Stretching over 21.8 kilometers of sea, this bridge took over six decades to build. The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link is being hailed as the engineering marvel of our time. But what benefits is it going to bring to the city? Forget history. The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, or the MTHL, is set to rewrite it. Stretching a staggering 21 kilometers across the ocean, the engineering marvel won't just be India's largest sea bridge. It'll be a game changer. Just imagine six lanes slicing through the waves, slashing travel times across Mumbai like a magic carpet. No more hours stuck in traffic, just a smooth, scenic ride connecting Suri to Navi Mumbabi. This dream project, six decades in the making, is a fusion of Indian ambition and Japanese expertise. Funded by the Japan International Corporation Agency, it's a testament to global collaboration. But the MTHL isn't just about speed. It's built to last, boasting a century-long lifespan thanks to cutting-edge tech. Think of it as a bridge to the future, where innovation meets endurance. And the name? A tribute to the former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, a reminder of the visionaries who made this colossal dream a reality. Of notable significance is the incorporation of orthotropic steel decks, ranging impressively from 65 to 180 meters, marking a pioneering advancement with India's infrastructure landscape as lauded by the MMRDA. Don't worry about crumbling concrete, because the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link boasts steel decks with superpowers. These orthotropic bad boys carry more weight than traditional structures, laugh in the face of harsh winds and even reduce their carbon footprint. Building this beast is lightning fast thanks to innovative methods, meaning less time spent on site and fewer safety risks. Plus, it finished construction much quicker, which means you get to enjoy those epic ocean views even sooner. But durability is key when you're living life on the edge, aka the ocean. That's why the bridge's lightning poles are like marine ninjas. Shielded by a tough coating that shrugs off corrosion, rust-proofed like nobody's business, and built to handle hurricane-force winds, they'll be shining bright long after the storm passes. Equipped with a sophisticated lightning protection system, these poles are able to stand guard against the threat of lightning strikes. This means that they're going to ensure uninterrupted functionality and longevity. From an automated toll collection system streamlining traffic flow to an intelligent transport system optimizing commute efficiency, every aspect of the bridge is going to bring convenience to new heights in Mumbai. So the next time you see the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, remember, it's not just a bridge. It's a monument to innovation, efficiency, and serious ocean-defying strength. Back in the 1990s when the future of the Mumbai Metropolitan Region in focus, the MMRDA, planned to alleviate the city's traffic congestion, the six bridges spanning Mumbai and Navi Mumbai over Thin Creek are too narrow and old, and they can't accommodate future traffic. This strains their capacity, making commutes between the two cities much longer. To address this, MMRDA proposed a link to enhance connectivity, ease traffic flow, and ensure safer journeys. Remember those grueling commutes across Mumbai, hours lost in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic? Get ready to forget them, because the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link has arrived, a colossal bridge rewriting the city's travel history. This engineering marvel, dreamt up in 2012, finally became reality in January of 2024, overcoming even the hurdle of a global pandemic. Spanning a staggering 21 kilometers, it connects Siri in South Mumbai to Navi Mumbai's Shirley, slicing 30 kilometers off the journey. But speed isn't its only superpower. Imagine reclaiming an hour of your life daily. MTHL's swift 20-minute crossing time makes it possible, saving an estimated 70,000 vehicles from traffic woes each day. But the bridge's impact goes beyond saving time. It's an eco-warrior, champagning sustainability. By reducing congestion and travel distances, MTHL is projected to save a staggering 10 million liters of fuel annually. Think of it as 25,680 tons of CO2 emissions vanishing into thin air, leaving Mumbai's lungs a little bit healthier. The bridge itself is a marvel of innovation. The orthotropic steel decks boasting unmatched load-carrying capacity are lighter than traditional concrete, further reducing environmental impact. Additionally, the lightning poles, shielded by robust coatings and fortified against corrosion, stand tall as a testament to the project's commitment to resilience and longevity. It also holds the promise of rapidly growing the economy on both state and national fronts. The MTHL has the potential to elevate the state's gross domestic product by a substantial 5%, while also contributing to a 1% rise in the national GDP. The construction of the bridge posed several hurdles for the state navigating through the troubled waters of the COVID-19 pandemic while grappling with logistical problems and securing vital ecosystems like mangroves and the habitat of migratory flamingos. 
Approximately 97% of the bridge structure, including orthotropic decks and concrete segments, was prefabricated off-site and transported for assembly. The orthotropic decks were crafted in Japan, Myanmar, Taiwan, and Vietnam, and then shipped to the Karanja port in Yuran. A specially built barge by Larsen and Tuabro facilitated their transport to the construction site. Forget traditional bricklaying. This marvel used over 12,000 precast concrete boxes, each meticulously assembled by a colossal robot-like gantry into spans longer than most football fields. But the foundations went even deeper. A staggering 47 meters below the waves laid a first-of-its-kind system in India. Additionally, the reverse circulation drilling technique introduced for the first time in India minimized disturbance to migratory birds. The construction project anticipated generating 115,419 months of employment for people, with over 14,000 workers operating around the clock in three eight-hour shifts. Expert consultants from 10 centuries contributed their expertise to various facets of the project. But the biggest hurdle loomed large, transporting colossal girders weighing up to 2,600 tons. So the minds behind the project came up with something groundbreaking, a floating cement factory right next to the bridge. Fresh, high-quality concrete delivered in minutes, slashing travel times from 8 to 9 hours to a matter of mere minutes. Talk about thinking outside the box, or rather outside the land. Fueling the engine of progress was an army of over 5,000 dedicated individuals, tirelessly working day in and day out since the project's beginning in mid-2018. Their unwavering commitment and tireless endeavors stand as a testament to the sheer determination and resilience driving this monumental undertaking forward. Overcoming the challenges presented by Thames Creek waters proved to be a formidable task in constructing towered pillars to support the bridge's rafters. To surmount this obstacle, engineers came up with an innovative strategy. They analyzed the soil conditions surrounding each pillar and conducted exhaustive seabed investigations at both the Siri and Shurl ends. Using specialized drilling techniques, engineers delved six times deeper into the bedrock, fortifying the pillar's structural integrity and anchoring capacity. Confronted with formidable rocks that threatened to blunt drilling machine cutters, workers devised a new approach. They excavated ahead of the designated mudflat areas to reduce the risk of soil collapse. However, the project encountered unforeseen setbacks, exacerbated by the relentless grip of the COVID-19 pandemic, resulting in a staggering cost escalation of 2,192 crore, equivalent to 14.9% of the total cost. What was initially estimated at 14,712 crore inflated up to 16,904 due to the disruptions by pandemic-induced lockdowns. The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link is here to revolutionize your commute. This 21.7km beast isn't just a bridge, it's a portal to a faster, smoother future. Imagine zooming across Mumbai Bay at a cool 20 minutes, leaving the city's chaos behind. This six-lane marvel gracefully cuts through urban landscapes, tranquil waters, and undaunting waves, connecting Siri to Navi Mumbabi in style. Instead of battling frustrating traffic signals, you'll enjoy a seamless journey whisked away from the hustle and bustle. It's like hopping on a magic carpet and escaping to the serene embrace of the sea. But the magic doesn't stop there. This architectural marvel boasts several tech marvels. It seamlessly transitions from urban streets to open waters, conquering diverse terrains with ease. Built to last, this bridge can withstand anything nature throws its way. And keeping sustainability in mind, it also minimizes its environmental impact. The Trans Harbor Link is also built to make sure only authorized vehicles can use it. It's carefully designed with four key points where you can enter or exit, toll booths to pay for using it, and everything else you need for a safe and smooth trip. It follows all the rules for expressways, promising fast travel at speeds up to 100 kilometers per hour. Every trip isn't just about getting somewhere. With India's Trans Harbor Link, it's an adventure you'll enjoy and remember. If you enjoyed this content, check out another one of our videos and subscribe for more astonishing builds.